Hip Hop Beef Alert, Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar in a lyrical showdown. Today, we're diving into the hottest drama in hip hop right now. The clash of the titans between Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and J. Cole. Kendrick throws the first punch. This whole thing started with Kendrick Lamar dropping a diss track called Like That. In it, he went in on both Drake and J. Cole, sparking a lyrical firestorm. J. Cole responds. J. Cole jumped in the ring with his own diss track. Seven minute drill, but in a surprising move, he later apologized to Kendrick on stage at Dreamville Festival. Talk about a plot twist. Drake stays silent. But does he? Drake hasn't directly addressed Kendrick's disses, but some folks think he's sending subtle messages. He recently posted a pic on Instagram showing off his Billboard Awards with 21 Savage. Is this a flex to remind everyone of his achievements? You be the judge. Is there trouble in paradise for Drake and J. Cole? There might be a crack in the friendship on a podcast. Someone close to Drake spilled the tea that Drake was hesitant to perform with J. Cole at Dreamville because of seven minute drill. Seems like things are a little awkward between them. Is Drake cooking up a diss track? J. Cole committed career suicide. I don't give a fuck what he's saying on the fall off. And I'm a J. Cole fan. Fucking rap, nigga. I'm deleting all that later. I'm deleting all your shit out my iTunes. I want all your posters off my wall. And nigga, I'm not fucking with J. Cole no more. I bet you going to Mall's crib and seeing a J. Cole poster. I'm throwing on the all them fucking Pumas I got. I'm throwing all them shits away. Fuck your Pumas, nigga. I'm wearing Dreamville Pumas. Me. That's how much I fuck with Cole. You had some panties on last night, man. You had some boy shorts on under them fucking sweatpants. I'm sorry, bro. I'm I'm from a different era in this shit. What you did last night, every nigga that's that nigga in the culture that you're in, trust and believe they looking at you a different way today. You can never come back from this. He got to cut his dreads. He got to go back to waves. He got, this nigga got to do so much rebranding after last night. He got to go back to college. He has to do another four years. Fuck let Nas down. You let every nigga that's ever supported your career down last night. That's a fact. All you niggas is out of a job. Because there's no way y'all should have let that nigga go on stage last. Nah, fuck that. I'm here. There's no way y'all should have let this nigga J. Cole go on that stage last night and do what he, eep, I, you, humdulillah, my nigga. <laughs> You was never, you was never supposed to let J. Cole hit that stage. You should have pulled every fucking cord that was backstage. Unplug all that shit. Unplug unplugging shit. I don't know what you unplugging. Unplug every fucking thing, man. The rumor mill is churning that Drake might be brewing a lyrical response to Kendrick. What's next? Will Drake drop a diss track? Will Kendrick respond? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. The hip hop world is on the edge of its seat, waiting for the next chapter in this rap battle. So smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for all of the updates on this juicy drama with the red carpet re-up.